Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and I get asked a lot of questions about natural gums and you might have seen my video on natural gums and seeing which are the best to help improve viscosity of formulas. Well, that prompted further questions on stabilizing power of natural gums. So this video is all about the different natural gums and how well they stabilize particles in a formulation. So I tested quite a few gums for you and the results are here. I'm gonna talk you through the different results that we show. Before I go through the different gums and the results, I do just want to explain a couple of things. What I'm testing here is particle suspension. Now, particles are much larger. You can see them for a start compared to emulsion stability. Emulsion stability is not tested here because the droplet size of emulsions is tiny compared to the size of these particles. I'm using particles here that range from 500 to 1000 micrometers. Your typical emulsion by comparison has droplets that are around one to 10 micrometers. So we are talking a dramatic difference in size. Now, the next thing you might say is, well, does that really matter? Yes, it does. Size matters a lot. Particles move according to Stokes' law. Under Stokes' law, the size of the particle has a big impact on how fast it will move and, as we see, how fast it will separate out in a formulation. So when you're talking about emulsions with a very small droplet size compared to these very large particles, it's a big difference. So what you're seeing here with the particles doesn't necessarily correlate to how well these viscosity modifiers will help stabilize your emulsion. Under Stokes' law, it's the viscosity of the continuous phase that also matters. The higher the viscosity of the continuous phase, the better droplet or particle suspension you will achieve. And you're gonna see that in the samples I've prepared here for you. So what I've done in this test, first of all, I'm using some very brightly colored beads. Thank you very much to Floratech for providing these beads. These are part of their eco bead and flora bead range. Now some of these you can actually get that are all natural. Some of them do have some FDNC colorants. You can speak with Floratech about their range. And what I have done is I have prepared versions using 0.5% of the natural gum and 1% of the natural gum. So what I've done is all of these on the left hand side are using 0.5% of the natural gum and all of these on the right hand side are using 1% of the natural gum. I'm gonna start over here. This one showed the least particle stability. This was solar gum tara. Uh, it's fine for stabilizing your emulsions, but as you can see, not the best for stabilizing particles. I've also been asked about skin fill of these materials. So I'm gonna summarize them for you in this video as well. The solar gum tara has a very silky feeling on the skin, even at 1%. Uh, it's not tacky. So this is a great one to use in emulsions. Uh, and again, this is not a great example of how it would perform with an emulsion because these particles are so much bigger than an emulsion droplet. The next is guar gum. This is at 0.5% guar gum. This is at 1% guar gum. You can see both aren't great at stabilizing particles. In terms of skin feel, it does actually feel a little slimy. So it will be best used in wash off products, but not for particle suspension. As you can see, it's not great at suspending large particles. Next, we have SucraClear HC31. Now, as you can see, this does stabilize particles very effectively at 1%. The SucraClear material has a very soft and silky skin feel. It's not tacky at all. If you need to stabilize particles, you'll need to use over 1%. At 0.5%, it's not enough to stabilize particles. Next we have carrageenan gum. Now this one has, as you would have seen in my other video, a big impact on viscosity. This is at 0.5%, this is at 1%. It is excellent at stabilizing particles. In terms of skin feel, it does have a little bit of tack in it. 
So it's great for suspending particles in a wash off product, um, but you'd want to use lower inputs in leave on products just to avoid any tackiness. And at lower inputs, it's not the best at stabilizing large particles, but absolutely fantastic at 1% to stabilize particles. And of course, now the last one, and it's my favorite, xanthan gum. I'm using a Cosphoderm X soft here, so it's a high quality grade of xanthan gum. You can see it's nice and clear, you can see through it. At 0.5%, it's not sufficient to stabilize the particles. At 1%, it's fantastic at stabilizing these large particles. Because it's a high quality xanthan gum, it's not tacky at all. In fact, it has quite a soft, silky skin feel to it, even at 1%. Uh, so if you are stabilizing particles, you do need to use that 1% to get effective stabilization. To help you with your gum selection and use, I've got this great summary table for you. I used the gums in this video that had some clarity to them compared to just using every gum that I've tested in a previous video where you couldn't see through them. And of course I've used materials that have good clarity so that you can see the particles that they're trying to suspend. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.